transplanted like that, I mean, it's going to have to be it's going to have to be dil diligently watered for at least two weeks. How about after that? At once, once the roots are established, Mother Nature should take over. What if we have a drought? We don't get a lot of rain this summer. Well, I mean, all kinds of plant material lives through droughts. I mean, like I say, once it's once it's established and everything, it should be fine. And did you plan on coming back after the installation at all? I mean, given a, a one-year guarantee, would you would you be checking during the year? Oh, yeah. I mean, not not on a not on a once-a-week basis, but I'm sure I'd be taking a swing through. Yeah. Okay. What do you have for equipment? Uh, was like any spe anything specific, or you want me to just? Well, if you're, if you're going to be moving loam and digging holes, and uh, we've got two um, two utility tractors, uh, an excavator, uh, two dump trucks, five pickups, um, various lawn mowers. I mean, I could go on and on forever. Back home. so you could yeah. mow if we needed it. Yeah. <laughs> um, Give it up. <laughs> Corey, you didn't m mention mulching in or mulch in your. Uh, no, I didn't because um, the the written the little written thing that was mm -hmm. on well right here um, does not state that, and I actually called up here. Mm -hmm. um, forget who I talked to at this time, but I did call up here when I was putting a number together, and I asked about um, finish work because mm -hmm. uh, it doesn't. It just says purchase, deliver plant material, soil amendments, fertilizer. Um, doesn't say anything about mulch or shaping beds or seeding or anything like that. What would you suggest that we put around, how much mulch would you suggest that we use around the trees? Um, for the smaller trees, like everything that's on here, usually usually you want to at least be out close to the drip line. And how deep? Mm. How uh, deep? Mulch. Mm. First application, three or four inches anyway. Okay, so that's not in your bid, right? No. What do you use when you plant the trees? I mean, there's going to be a lot of digging because you only have about four inches of, of good soil. Most um, of it's fill. Yeah, I think I stated in there that we would be using uh, a combination of uh, organic, organic compost, compost and, yeah. and fertilizer with inoculants and stuff in it. And really, and really, you don't want to. I mean, you don't want to go just completely filling your hole with good stuff anyway because then you create a little environment where the roots like to stay and they won't go any further than that so yeah, you're exactly you wanna, right nobody else has said that you want to you know yeah, I agree on that. average a whole three or four times a, uh, three or three to five times the size of your root ball and then you you only want um, whatever is the original material you don't want to incorporate any more than maybe 20 the problem is it's all fill that's been brought in yeah but I mean so. it's Probably going to be a probably going to be a mixture of sand and loam and whatever else. And okay. cool. we have um, we're putting out a bit to have some loam loam screen, mm -hmm. a big pile out there, a thousand yards. Mm -hmm. um, and when it gets screened, it's going to be located out there. It's not right next to the nursing home at this point. Um, did you have problems transporting that whatever you need off of the screen loam to be used? Uh, what, what do you, um, I mean, the price that I gave includes us bringing up the compost and whatever to incorporate into whatever's there, I mean. So you're not going to need any of our loan to put this stuff in? No. Oh. Would you reduce your bid if we were using our own loan? Use your compost, but our loam. Um, we'll have a thousand cubic yards of loam, screen loam available by the first of May. It's something I could look at. Um, I'm not. I'm not sure right this second. Okay. <laughs> okay. And although you're not the only one bidding on it, who's done a similar things. You've not listed any of the plants that were on the initial RFP, but have grouped them into a group of 90. 
So one of the questions that I had with each of the people was if we wanted to do a substitution of one plant for another or reduce the number of plants, it's difficult to do without having it broken down on a per unit basis. Would you be able to provide the commissioners with that? I mean, I could, I, could, I could give an average cost per plant, but the cost varies so dramatically from one thing to the next. Right. It's but very I list each plant with each price. I could do that if you okay. want. Yes. Yeah. All right. And you'd be open to us making some slight modifications to the to the menu per se. Oh, I don't. I don't. Within care. reason. I mean, <clears throat> if we had if we had some substitutes, we'd have to let them know right away. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if you if you if you take if you ta if you take something away, it's going to take off the price. If you add something, it's going to add to it. But you're going to order stuff, and you probably have 30 days after the quote, after you got a quote for the cost of materials, you have 30 days in order to order. Uh, I believe I had. At, at your. I believe I had 45 or 60, but. Okay. Okay. The, the timeline is the first of May or the month of May this year. The plan. I think it's specifically plan. stated um, by the completed June. by June 1st, yeah. yeah. So do you see any problems with that timeline from your standpoint? No. Planting in the month okay. of May? No. And during your work day, there would be cleanup at the end of the day? Oh, absolutely, yeah. No holes uncovered? No. No debris left? No, no dirt strewn all over the place, no holes open. And the starting time, we, we asked that question already about eight, somewhere around eight o'clock because we have residents there that would be interested in the project and viewing it and so forth, but there are others that <coughs> try to sleep late and, and uh, what we're talking about is starting like at eight o'clock. With, I mean, if, with if, equipment types. So yeah, I mean, if we had layout, if we had layout and stuff like that to do, we could be here earlier. But yeah, no yeah. new, no yeah. uh, no noise before eight. No motors before eight. Yeah. Okay. We have um, no smoking policies here. Um, we're sensitive to language, uh, that type of thing. Pretty standard <laughs> language, anyway. Okay, anybody else? Uh, further questions? If not, uh, thank you for coming in and submitting a bid. And we'll let you know as soon as the committee gives the commissioners, which there are two here, once they give a recommendation to us, then we will approve or disapprove or whatever. And uh, we'll let you know. All right. And hopefully, we'll let you know by the end of the week at least. All right. Okay. All right. All right. Thank you. Just a point of order. I'm not certain that we can have the uh, television on when we start talking about money. Deliberations. It's negotiations. And deliberations, yeah. Ed? I mean, you can come back in when we do a recommendation, but I'm concerned that when we get into the detail here of, of uh, our impressions and yeah. and what our our the committee's feeling is about the presentations, I think that we, we can't have that on on the television. But okay, when we come to a recommendation, we can definitely start it up again. That would be my comment on Yeah, I think, you're, I think you're right. Yeah. Well, well, yeah, close the interview part of the meeting and then I'll be done. That's fine. Well, do you want to do the recommendation at a, when we're done? Sure. So you're going to stay after and then you'll discuss it right after. That, we're going to discuss we, it now. And before then, we close the interview session, does anybody feel that um, we need to look at more landscape um, landscapers, do you think that we have out of the four we interviewed, uh, there's at least one in there that's qualified to do the job? Do you there, think there is? I think there are four that are qualified to do the job. Excuse me. I think there are four that are qualified to do the job. Okay, but, but uh, I think most of the committee has 
not reviewed all of the applications. I think right. I think the commissioners have yeah, reviewed all of the applications. Yeah. And unless you um, have anything compelling that thinks that we should look at more applications, then I th think that we're okay with what we have. Okay. Does me agree? All right. Uh, then I, I would then uh, recommend that we close uh, <coughs> our interview session and uh, we'll go into talking about negotiating and selecting a candidate and then we would have uh, Ed to come back in and, and uh, let the committee give a recommendation. Okay? And we will have a recommendation this afternoon, I think. Are we pretty yeah. much in agreement? Yes. 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 So there will be a recommendation this afternoon. Okay. Then a recommendation as to our discussions that just took place. So uh, we'll open up our, our um, proposals for landscaping. Um, plant materials and so forth. So if somebody wants to speak, I think it was unanimous um, recommendation. So anybody want to say why we selected a company that we did? Sure. Uh, the committee's come to the conclusion that uh, Salmon Falls Nursery and Landscaping would be the best choice for Carroll County to choose for our landscaping project. Uh, a couple of things come to mind is the um, through the bid process, they've, off they've offered the most complete package. They've um, included a few extras that uh, we hadn't thought about. Um, the prices, um, while not the lowest bid, they are one of the lowest bids. So um, <clears throat> all those things taken into consideration, I think that uh, Salmon Falls Nursery and Landscaping is the right choice for the job. Um, the decision was unanimous through the committee. and. Um, with that being said, the committee makes the recommendation for Salmon Falls. Okay. Any other comments by anybody? One of the things that tipped me in favor of Salmon Falls is the fact that they care enough to come back every week and make sure everything's watered thoroughly. And that's a nobody else offered that. They're pretty mm -hmm. much going to plant and run. The other thing is Salmon Falls met every single one of our concerns if we wanted to change some trees around, uh, th they're going to use our loam, they're going to add fertilizer. Um, every single concern we had, they had an answer for. Mm -hmm. So that was what, but the watering, the fact that they were going to come and water when no other yeah. one, other one was going to yeah. do that was my reason for voting with that data. Awesome. That's worth the price. Okay. Anybody else? I also like yeah. that they um, commented that a lot of the stock was going to come from their own place, so they know yeah. where it's been coming from. Yeah. And they've had a lot of experience with um, uh, commercial commercial work, so um, mm -hmm. I felt comfortable with that as well. We did weigh into the discussion the notion that we're trying to award bids as much as possible in Carroll County. However. The pricing was one factor, um, looking at the price of uh, Salmon Falls versus one of the other bidders, and I, I don't think we can overstate the service end of this, of weekly watering and actually maintaining the plant product for a year. Significantly um, weighed in as far as my decision was concerned, and I think as far as Bob Murray and his crew, I, I think it makes a lot of difference not to have to add that to the list of things to do. Well, the lowest bid was 14. Salmon Falls is 14.4. Yeah. So, in my opinion, for, for $400 more, for them to come water every week <laughs> is huge. Mm -hmm. yeah. That's worth $400. Pat, any comments? No, I think we made the right choice. Okay. We did follow the discussion up a little bit, just so we, now that the camera's on again, with creating the contract that, that services this, this uh, project, and also discussing the notion of having someone overseeing the project on the, for the county um, okay. in the form of a clerk. When that discussion, the commissioners, I guess, will follow up with. Since Commissioner Solomon is uh, on the board of the Council of the Co-op Extension, maybe she could follow up on uh, seeing if anybody from Co-op Extension could oversee it. 
I know they're pretty much into educational programs and not doing inspections as such. Um, maybe somebody there, or maybe they may know of somebody. I was going to say they may have some, uh, yeah. somebody they know that might be able to do it. I think it would be a good idea to have a person that works myself. So, with that recommendation, we as a board will take this up on Wednesday and uh, make the decision at that time when all three of us can be there. Okay, thank, thank you, you very much. Thank for you for your, for your input. Thank you for being on this committee. Yes, I guess it is a meeting. It was posted as a meeting because two of us are here. So. I move to adjourn. You make a motion to adjourn. I'll second it. All those in support of the motion say aye. 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 All right. Thank you. I voted. <laughs>